Okay guys, I'm gonna do a video about something I've never done before. Um, 1100 videos or something like that on this channel and I've never done a video about how to pack and protect your system. I get emails all the time, people telling me, hey, I'm going off to college and I gotta ship my PC or hey, I'm going overseas or I'm, I'm moving, I need to protect my PC, how can I do that? Well, this is the system I showed you guys a few videos back that I built for my driving instructor and uh, it's gotta make its way all the way to Illinois. And hopefully today, if I do this right, it'll survive the trip. Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4 memory from Corsair features optimized peak performance for both the latest Intel and AMD based DDR4 motherboards. To learn how to bring your computer memory to the next level, click the link in the description below. So we have a few challenges with this system. One, we have a tempered glass side panel. So obviously we want to protect that. We are going to be shipping it in its case box. <laughs> As you can see by the wave effect, this has already been uh, handled with care by your friendly neighborhood courier service. We're gonna be doing a box in a box. Um, the nice thing about this though is um, even though when uh, Cooler Master sent us this case, um, it had these nice dense corner pieces on here. So that's gonna help. We're gonna, we're gonna be taping these back on. I know you probably won't have these unless they came with your box. This is a hard cell foam, so it's not soft and squishy. So we can't really count on the foam to necessarily absorb a lot of the drop impact it's gonna have. Now, yes, you can put things like fragile on the box if you're shipping it. You know what fragile means? Over a fence or something. We're gonna be utilizing something today that I got off of Amazon. This is Instapack. This is the stuff that you saw us show at uh, our NZXT video, where you put it out and you snap it and it pops and then you gotta, you gotta play the bongos on it and then it starts to expand. So we'll be using that to protect our internals. One thing you can do if you are confident with this or you're shipping it to someone who um, is able to do this or you're doing it yourself, the easiest thing to do is gonna be to remove the cooler especially if it's like an air tower, like a, like a you know, cooling heat sink and the GPU. Those are the two things that are gonna be most likely damaged because once it's upright like this, you've got all the pressure of the, 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 the thing that makes the video happen, pushing down on the system, pulling on the motherboard and the same thing with the tower or the, the cooling tower. Now, fortunately, because we have a water cooler in here, there's not really any weight or any leverage being pulled on the CPU socket. This is a big, heavy, graphics card. I went with the Zotac Amp Extreme because he is gonna be doing um, VR racing and stuff and I wanted to give him a good VR experience. We, uh, I went with that. Unfortunately, because the card is so big and heavy and already has some sag, I mean, look at that, all I did was set it down. You see that? Look, watch. See the card? Now, how is this gonna survive a trip? Well, that's where the Instapack comes in. Because it expands, it is gonna fill the void. We're gonna be using the Instapack to push it down, and as we push it down right here, it's gonna start to expand. And, and it doesn't push against thing, it just goes, oh, there's resistance, and goes around it. So we're gonna basically form a cocoon around the graphics card, which we're then gonna put the side panel on and squish it down, so it goes down and protects the graphics card. The graphics card won't be able to move. That's really the only thing we have to protect in here. Okay, so this side down, always wear eye protection. Oh! <gasps> Once the bag starts to expand, it will become very warm and release steam. Oh, it's getting warm. It's getting, oh, there it goes. You will hear another pop. Ah! <laughs> Pack immediately. It's going. I know, I see it. It's getting hot. Whoa, that's hot. Holy crap. Ah! No, it's backwards. <laughs> ah! Oh man. Wait, we got this. Why was, I feel like that was harder than it needed to be. Okay, well. All right, so that part's done. You can take a lot less risk with your system if uh, you're shipping it to yourself, or you're shipping it to someone that can reinstall their own graphics card, then there you go. But you know, I figured, if these system builders, if the system builders, you know, are, are sending off these systems all day long, like this, then there's no reason why I can't either. 
Phil loves that sound. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so I've still got some leftover foam and stuff that we're gonna use to sort of, you know, protect the, the tempered glass on the side of the case. I just wanna be over cautious, right? That's what we wanna do. I almost feel like uh, this thing deserves a drop test to see if it is gonna survive. <laughs> okay, I mean, if it can't survive that, it's not gonna survive a trip in a browner, white and purple truck. So the nice thing about these things is they allow the case corners or the corner of the box to become a lot stronger so it can take the impact. It's usually the corners of a package that become damaged. Okay, so we went ahead and decided if we're gonna do this video, we need to do it right. So we ran to the hardware store and we picked up packing materials. I feel like, yeah, I feel like this needs a pole that this is going through because I can't hold the two things on the end that let it like rotate. Now I said box in a box. So this box is gonna get packed in that box but we need to put padding around here for that. And to do that, we bought this stuff. Now, some people might look at this and be like, 50 bucks for packing material, what the heck? But you also gotta ask yourself, how much is your computer? And how much are you willing to spend to protect it? So now I'm gonna basically do the same thing on all four sides of our package. The box is all like smooshing out on this side. So there we go. We're just gonna close this up, put a whole bunch of tape, and then we are going to saran wrap the outside of this box as well. We need like one of those things that have it like warehouses where it just goes on a spinning pallet. And that's how you pack a computer. If you can't survive that, it won't make it to Illinois. So as you guys saw, we used Instapack for 10 bucks or so off of Amazon. The saran wrap was 24 bucks from Lowe's. And then it was, uh, it was like another 18 or so, or 20 bucks for the bubble wrap. Uh, we got two of them, but like I said, I'm moving and I need the bubble wrap and the saran wrap for other stuff. So about 50 bucks worth of packing material, you can uh, hopefully ship your package safe and sound. The Instapack to hold the guts of the computer in place, the foam that came with the case box that it's packed in, foam shoved down in there to protect the sides of it. Then it put inside of another box with saran, or not saran wrap, but bubble wrap all around that. And of course, saran wrap around the main box, all kinds of bubble wrap, enough to where it's actually bulging out but not enough to actually cause it to push down on the box on the inside. And then that saran wrap to hold everything together, not to mention the, the stiff corner pieces we have on the inside box. Yeah, this should hopefully make it to Illinois in one piece. In fact, why don't you guys do me a favor, follow on, on uh, Twitter and Instagram, at Jay's Two Cents at both, and I'll do a follow up when this arrives at its destination, let you know whether or not it survived. I'll even ask for some pictures from Steven before he unboxes it to see what it looks like when it gets there. This is the worst time of year to ship something and to get it handled with care because you're also dealing with a, a bunch of uh, brand new unseasoned part-time box runners, basically the person that's hired to go from the truck to the door and just run and throw it at the customer and run back to the truck while the driver's in there organizing the next packages. Yeah, I've worked a few peak seasons. Those of you that are couriers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Long days, 16 hours plus, and uh, yeah, it, it, it should hopefully survive that aspect. All right, well, there you go. You guys are asking me all the time how to ship a computer. That's the method I use. If you do something different and you consider it safe, put it down in the comments below and uh, help everyone out. As always, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I'm serious. Follow on Twitter and Instagram so you can see if it survived. Subscribe. <laughs>